Tennessee, here's Jake. Thank you, Bob, and thank you for joining us. Welcome to our wonderful world of gospel music. We call it Jake Hess and Friends. Our guest, Gordon Stoker, the Gordon Stoker of the Jordan Hours. Uh, Jordan Ayers, that is. We're going to have the J.D. Sumner and the Stamps Quartet to open our program, and they're singing, What Kind of Church? J.D. Sumner and the Stamps Quartet singing What Kind of Church. It's a good number. I guess it's in the singing news charts. And so they say when you get in the charts, that's a good song. We'll be back with some more good singing right after this. moments ago we were talking about gospel songs being in the charts. Well, here's one that's been in the charts for quite some time. The Spear family singing, He's Still in the Fire. My mama read a story from the Bible long ago about Shadrach, Meshach, and Old Abednego. How the wicked king commanded they be thrown into the flame because they would not bow and then deny their Mama said the king stood high up on a balcony so tall When he looked in, he was shot by all the things he saw Cause he thought that he would find them lying dead upon the ground But instead of three, he counted four up walking all around Well, I said, Mama, wait a minute, there's one thing that I must know Name, and he 
To face life's hardest flame But I'm glad that I can tell you Through the power of his name Not one flame of fire will touch you You'll come through it and you'll tell Yesterday, today, forever God is still alive and well I said he's still in the fire And he's walking in the flame And he'll be there to help you When you call upon his name And he can still deliver by You know, George Reynolds and I have been talking ever since we've had the program here. We've been talking about Gordon Stoker. We've been trying to get Gordon Stoker. And uh, George and Gordon go to the same church. And I said, is he back in town? When is he going to be here with us? Gordon, we're glad to have you. Thank you, Jake. You've always been one of my very favorite people, and I'm just delighted to be here. I'm sorry that the court that's, well, outside of being in Florida, a lot with my home I have there with my wife. I'm out of the country a lot with the quartet, so it's, you know, it's one of those things. I think the quartet taking this time to get a little rest before you take <laughs> off again. Did you tell me that you're singing a lot in Japan? I can't believe. We did an album for, comp uh, for co a company in Denmark and just kind of just kind of exploded, so to speak. All of a sudden, uh -huh. they realized that the Jordanaires could come over there, and we, we've already been, over, already been over there some five weeks this year, and we've got a trip coming up in, in September, a week in, in, in Germany. We're going to, in November, we're doing a week in Japan. Then we're going back to Denmark for about to 10 days in September. I can't believe all this sudden, but you know, we were on all of Patsy Klein's hits. Yeah, and Patsy yeah. Klein's very big in those countries. And of course, being all, on all of Elvis, most all of Elvis's hits, that's, that's very big in those countries. All of a sudden, they want to see the people that performed on those records, so here we are. You know, we <laughs> That's great. That's great. I was talking with uh, David Reese today, and he said to be sure and remind you that when he first heard you playing, that he just enjoyed it so much, he just liked to twerp his bassinet. <laughs> <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> I guess, it's, uh, you know, I started playing for John Daniel as Hugh Gordon Stoker. Most of the people yeah. <laughs> will, will remember me as Hugh. I, I started playing for John. John heard me playing. I started playing in churches when I was about eight years old. Yeah. And John heard me when I was about 12 or 13 years old over in West Tennessee. And he said, son, when you get out of high school, I want you to play for the Daniel Quartet. <laughs> and when I got out of high school, John called. And uh, so I came to Nashville and was on the opera at about 15 years old. And uh, that's been many, many years ago. We won't go into that. But I was very fortunate to, to have gotten to work with him. John was a great man. Well, John was a businessman. But John, I think, had a lot to do with bringing gospel music to the front. He in, sure in, in the officials' eyes, that is, we were the—I guess—we were the first gospel quartet on the network, NBC network. Right. Mm -hmm. And I was only 15, 16 years old. I had a little—he <laughs> called me a little greasy head. Get your little greasy head down there and play that piano. <laughs> oh, he called me a lot of things. In fact, uh, he fired me three times. Did know? he? Yeah. Well, that's uh, that's. <laughs> but he was good to me. I loved him. Hey. The Jordan Airs, the most requested song they have here on the Jay Cass and Friends is this one called Search Me, Lord. A good song. Oh, well, search me, Lord. Search me, Lord. Oh, well, search me, Lord. Search me, Lord. Oh, well, turn, turn the lights from heaven onto my soul. Well, if you find anything that shouldn't be I wanna live right, I wanna be saved, I wanna be whole Well, you know when I'm right You know, you know when I'm wrong You know where I go You know where I belong You know what I do You know my secrets too Well, search me, search me, search me through and through Search me, Lord Search me, Lord You know just what I'm 
Presley days, of course, as most of you out there know that uh, Gordon Stoker and the Jordan Ayers were, well, the first group to back him up. Yeah, we worked with him some 15 years. And <laughs> that Search Me Lord was the type of song that Elvis would sit at the piano singing all night long. He loved yeah. to sing every, he loved spirituals, you know, really spirituals was his first love. You know, one time the Imperials and the Jordan Ayers was in a, in a session with you folk. Right. Presley and uh, Broke the session right in the middle, and we sit there and sing gospel music for an hour and a oh, half. Oh yeah, so. that's you know we got ran out of many studios in Hollywood for you know we did some 28 movies with him. We got ran out of many studios in Hollywood for singing spirituals. They didn't know what we were singing. <laughs> it was unknown tongues to them. <laughs> <laughs> but they loved. He loved spirituals, and you were his one of his very favorite singers. I think I've told you that before. Yeah, uh, you know. Uh, I never did, I, I, I knew Elvis, but I didn't know him as, uh, in his professional life. He, Everybody. He was, he was the kindest, sweetest, most considerate guy uh, that, I, that we ever worked with. Of course, we had the joy of working with him some 14, 15 years. The reason we quit working with him is because our recording schedule here in Nashville, we were doing so many recording sessions, backing yeah. everybody, that we just couldn't continue working on the road with him or, or working in Vegas with him. We didn't, we didn't do that because of our recording schedule here. You guys, probably the most recorded uh, people in the business in the world. They tell us that we have been on, that we have been on more phonograph recordings than any vocal group in the world. That's very we're very fortunate. Of course, I'm fortunate to have been with the Jordanaires 40 years. This is my 40th year yeah. that I've been with the Jordanaires. And you celebrate. And I'm not that old. Oh, I know. You started just a wee kid. <laughs> I was just a kid. Hey, you know this boy, Larry, Larry O'Rell. They're singing. Larry singing for us. Don't go to heaven alone. Take somebody with you. the globe It's nice to have some company go It's better to go anywhere When there's someone to share So on your heavenward move Don't go by yourself Make it too Don't go to heaven alone Take somebody with seem quite so long You'd be surprised how many will go If someone goes who they know So make it your business to do What everybody who's going should do Your home is in heaven, it's true, but heaven 
Gordon, I believe it was uh, in 61 or 62. Uh, my claim, this is my claim to fame. <laughs> the Jordan Ayers backed me on a record and what was it in 61? I think it was. Back when the Phillips studio was Right, yeah. right. We, uh, we thoroughly enjoyed doing that. We, we got to work with, we got to do a lot of gospel albums and still do occasionally do gospel albums. We, we've got a new one coming up with Tennessee Ernie, supposed to, I don't know if they'll ever, uh -huh. you know, we've done three with Ernie. Yeah. Uh, our first one we did with Ernie won a uh, Grammy Award, a friend we have. Yeah, I remember that. And uh, yes. we, we love to sing religious music. I, I don't think there's any joy that you get out of any music as much as religious music. Oh, we had a good time back then. Oh, yeah. Well, we have a good time every time we get together. <laughs> Here's some folks that have a good time singing, the Neelands. They do a fan fantastic job. Jerry Thompson speaking, God bless the USA. If tomorrow all the things were gone I've worked for all my life And I had to start again With just my family and my wife I thank my God above To be living here today Cause the flag still stands for freedom And they can't take that away Minnesota to the hills of Tennessee across the plains of Texas from sea to shining sea from Detroit on down to Houston from New York to LA there's pride in every American heart Chicago, Illinois, and they mm. did a program up there, and uh, we were talking about the Jordan Ayers. She said, you know, this is the first time I've ever seen the Jordan Ayers sing as a quartet. Well, she met by themselves. Well, well, they're so used to hearing us do nothing but background. Right. But if the people like to hear the Jordan Ayers sing, if they'll write to you and request the Jordan Ayers numbers, we'll do more numbers for them, and maybe I'll get to come back. Hey, you'll get to come back. <laughs> well, you'll get to come back regardless, because we knew how they felt about you. That's the reason George and I tried to get you so all, oh, these, all these weeks, you know. But he's a very busy man, and we we do thank you for coming. Thank by. you. I we, thoroughly enjoyed it. We have a lot of a uh, lot of friends over the country that speak very highly of the Jordan Airs, and we it, it, it's a thrill to have get to be able to bring Gordon <laughs> Stoker to the people. Thank you. Uh, when you started with Jordan Airs. Did you not play the piano for them first? Yes, I did. I, start, I, I started as a piano player, and uh, our first tenor singer had a nervous breakdown. On, when we were doing, had five-week 
uh, five nights uh, in, a, in a club in Detroit. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, he had a nervous breakdown, and they forced me to sing first tenor. So I started singing first tenor, and I've been singing first tenor ever since. It's forced you into one of the greatest moves of your life. <laughs> Thank you for being with us. Thank you, Jake. Well, the last song here is a Bible song. Do you believe in what you do? Are we just playing Christian like an actor plays a role? Do we believe? Do we believe in what? Through me, but people ever realize just what their life could be. Do we believe? Do we believe in what we believe? Well, I've heard an old time preacher talk about the joy of heaven, and he's preached about another place of endless pain and grief. But has the words he spoke so plain and clear done anything to me? In what we believe Do we believe Do we believe In what we believe We know the gospel truth But does it shine through me Will people ever realize Just what the life could be Do we believe Do we believe In what we believe Mr. B believe? says that's about it for now Good Lord willing We'll see you next time what we believe Do we believe but does it shine? Will people ever realize just what their life?